Mobile milling or portable milling, sometimes called transient milling, is a great option for homeowners or landowners that have trees that they'd like to get turned into lumber instead of just burning them in firewood. And the operation is pretty straightforward. You've got to have a log deck and you take your logs and you roll them to the mill. And most of the modern portable sawmills you see running around have hydraulics. So as you watch this video, you'll notice that the mill's going to lift those big logs up onto the log deck. And in a mill like mine, the Woodmiser LT40 hydraulic has hydraulic log loaders, has a hydraulic clamp, hydraulic side supports and tow boards and all kinds of things to lift and move and clamp and support the log when it's on the mill deck. The mill can load a 4,400 pound log by itself. I've actually loaded heavier with the use of a, a tractor to help lift the log. And one of the things you always want to try to do is keep the logs coming, keep them coming to the sawmill. So you want to have that log deck fairly close to the mill so that you can roll logs to the mill and have them ready and staged so the sawyer can get to work and start providing lumber for you. And these sawmills can produce any dimension lumber that you need. If you need beams, we can make them. If you need two by sixes, two by eights, two by twelves, one bys, half inch, it doesn't matter. These mills are programmable. Some of the manual mills you have to do it by hand, but on a mill like the Woodmiser L240, you've got computerized set works that will adjust the cut to the right height. So you see here I'm actually making three two by sixes at once. And these are dimensional plus an eighth, so they've got a little room to shrink. So they'll be dimensional two by six by the time they're done. That'd be an inch and a half by five and a half inches. And I can mill three of those at a time. No problem on this mill. And with a good crew pulling boards off as we go, you can really produce on one of these mills. It's surprising just how much lumber you can produce in a short period of time. Normally with a portable sawmill operation, the landowner is the laborer they provide the labor so an operation like mine or a lot of portable sawmill operations that you'll find you get the sawyer and the sawmill itself and all the tools and equipment and knowledge that come with it and then you provide the labor and that could be day labor that you hire or just guys that, that uh, you know in the family maybe you got some teenage sons or it can be just family members it can be anybody so whatever works for the, the, the homeowner the landowner that works for us. As long as you've got someone that can pull that lumber off the mill. If you have the sawyer do it, then you're really not getting the best bang for your buck. But if you're providing the logs, you can see your lumber prices down around 35 cents a board foot. Now, some sawyers charge by the board foot, some like me charge by the hour, but in the end it works out that you're really getting lumber you know, in that 35 cents to 50 cents a board foot, maybe 25 cents, it all depends on the operation, depends on the, the quality of the logs, quality of the laborers that are helping out, uh, the environment. But I would tell you, if you're looking to hire a, a mobile sawmill like us to come out and, and work for you, the best things you can do is make sure you anchor seal the ends of the logs, make sure you have the logs decked up, usually no more than too high in a log deck, have them in a place that the mill can be pulled in right in front of the logs so that it's easy to roll from the log deck to the mill and have room for the lumber that's coming off the mill. You're going to have a slab pile, probably have a flitch pile, which is a board with wain on either side, and then you'll have your lumber pile. And as long as you lay out an area where a guy with a truck or a truck and camper can come in and pull that sawmill in and set it up for you, then I think you're going to find that having a portable sawyer come out is going to save you a lot of money on lumber costs. And this lumber can be graded and stamped if necessary. Uh, some sawyers do that themselves. I myself uh, actually provide a number for a uh, grader that you can have come out. Uh, I prefer to do it that way because I'm going to mill the best possible lumber I can for you. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you that it's a number one and you find out it's not, it's a number two or something like that. I'll have a grader come out and grade my work. And I think that's better for the homeowner or the, rant, the landowner. In any case, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this answers some questions for you. And if you have any questions, we're here to answer them. Thanks.